What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today I've got a unboxing for you guys. This is my first unboxing for a while, but this is a cool one that I wanted to share with you guys because it is a bunch of swim baits. And you guys know that I really like swim baits. I know a lot of you guys do. It's kind of a new thing that everybody's starting to like in the fishing industry. Uh, it's kind of breaking out of California and stuff, which is cool. So guys all over are starting to get into them, in, including myself, and I thought it'd be a cool thing to share with you guys. So this is a $180 tackle warehouse order. So let's get right into it. But also guys, I want you to stay to the end of the video because I have a cool announcement at the end. So the first thing we got is a free sticker. For spending over 50 bucks, you get a free sticker from Tackle Warehouse. And same with this, if you spend over $150, you get a free t-shirt. So this is like a sand color this time. Um, but most of the stuff, like I said, is gonna be swim bait products. I did buy a few things that were not, just because they were uh, cheap on the 25 days of savings. So I'm just gonna quick go through those quick and then we'll get into the swim baits. So the first thing I got was some more free swinging jig heads. I got really into that last year when I was out in California fishing with Travis Moran. And I really came back and learned to catch fish on them and it was a lot of fun. So I just had to pick up some more of those uh, for this year. I also got one of the Lucky Craft crankbaits. I bought three of these earlier in the uh, 25 days of savings, but I just really like this color, so I wanted to pick up another one before it was gone for that price. So I just picked that up quick, and yeah. Then we got some Seaguar fishing line. This is uh, eight pound fluorocarbon, which I use for drop shotting and stuff. I typically run straight fluorocarbon, even though it's really stupid of me, but I don't know. It's, it, I get like the sensitivity and everything you get out of it, even though it is expensive. So I got this, uh, it was 35 bucks, regular like 60 or 70 bucks. So that was a really good deal. And Seaguar, I have never tried before besides when I was in California, but I've always heard good reviews and stuff on it. So I definitely wanted to pick that up. That is a thousand yard spool. So that'll last me quite a long time. So now we're kind of getting into the good stuff. I just got some pocket knocker lure retrievers. Uh, since I'm starting to use these bigger, uh, more expensive baits and everything, I decided I'd get those uh, in case I snag up on anything. That way I can get it out. And now we're really into the good stuff. So I got the Southern Trout Eaters DVD, and this basically shows you how to fish swim baits and stuff. So they kind of go, rather than uh, California and stuff, the Southern Trout Eaters, they go down into like Georgia, Alabama, stuff like that, and throw these big swim baits and show you kind of how you can catch fish in different places, how to rig the baits and everything like that. Uh, kind of different than all your typical California stuff again. So that's pretty cool. Then I just got some Mend It uh, for these big Huddlestons and stuff. I They're expensive baits, so when once you get like a pike or something up here that hits them, uh, they're going to just destroy it. So this is a cool way to glue them back together, basically, and get more life out of these big baits, um, which is cool, like I said, because they're expenses, expensive, and up here we got a lot of pikes, so that's going to be definitely something I'll use a lot. So now for the swim baits. I first got this Spro swim bait. This is the Spro shad the bbz one shad this is the four inch size i think they make one size bigger and one size smaller this is the killer gill color and in the slow sink i kind of wanted the fast sink but they were out of it so i just went with the slow sink it goes down uh falls one foot for every four seconds and it weighs seven eighths of an ounce so you can basically throw this on any standard uh bass gear which is cool so you guys uh if you want to try swim bait fishing or something this would be a good one to get it's also not that expensive so definitely one i think i can catch fish on for sure around here in wisconsin otherwise i'll take it up when i go to canada and hopefully get some smallmouth on these as well then we got the little creeper these are the all-american sunfish now when i was out in california again I threw the All-American Trash Fish with Travis, which is basically the uh, Skeet Sick Fish from Berkeley Havoc, but it's kind of a nicer version of it, the original version, a little bit softer, they're hand poured and everything. So that's a really cool, they have a little more action to them and everything. And so I just got that in the male bluegill color. This is a four and a half inch swim bait here. And it really does imitate a bluegill really good. So you can throw this on like a six or seven knot hook and like you can see there, it's a really nice bluegill imitation. So definitely around the spawn and stuff, definitely something I'm gonna throw a lot. And it's pretty cool, it's got the nice big hook slot in there. So yeah, for sure, one that I'm gonna throw a lot of and hopefully catch some fish on. And now we got the Huddlestons coming up. So this is the six inch Huddleston. Um, this is the non-weedless version. 
I didn't get the 68 version. I know a lot of guys say to get the 68 with a bigger tail, but I figured uh, if I throw this for a small mouth or anything when I go to Canada and stuff, I wanted a smaller presentation as well as a lot of the ponds I fish have smaller fish in them. So this is the Ray to Fall 12 as well as the other ones that I got. And this is in the Phantom Juvenile per Trout color. So that is a really sweet bait there. I've never owned a Huddleston before, but these are really nice and just feeling it, the quality of it feels really nice. Um, I wasn't sure how the paint and everything would hold up on these compared to like some other swim baits that have cheap paint and everything, but these do look like they're gonna hold up really nice. So that's a awesome bait and really quality for the price. So yeah, that's the six inch in Phantom Juvenile Trout. Then we have the six inch perch as well in the rate of fall 12. Uh, this is the yellow perch color. And this is gonna be nice for a lot of the ponds and stuff that I'm fishing as well around the spawn and stuff when the uh, bait fish are going up shallow to try to steal uh, bass's eggs and everything. And the bass are just really keying on the uh, big bait fish and stuff like that. So this is gonna be a great bait for around the pre-spawn and stuff. Like I said, the same bait, just in a perch color, which is cool. And then the last thing that we have is the Huddleston Deluxe Bluegill. This is something I've looked at for a long time. This is in the natural bluegill color and a rate of fall 12 as well. Um, they made this a few years ago and I wanted to buy one, but I wasn't really into swim bait fishing as much at the point. Didn't have any gear to throw it on, so I didn't buy it. And then they kind of like discontinued it and now they brought it back. So I definitely wanted to pick one of those up. It looks like a real bluegill. That is gonna be an awesome bait, and the slow action and everything on it is just gonna be a bait that the bass can't resist. I've seen bass hit baits like this, bluegill this size, even small, like 14 inch bass, so this is definitely gonna get some use this summer and spring, and it's something that I cannot wait to throw. So for the announcements, guys, I booked a trip. I'm gonna be heading out to California Clear Lake fishing again with Travis Moran and it's gonna be really cool it's gonna be like pre-spawn time so i might be able to take some of these big swim baits out and throw them so that's gonna be a really fun thing to do bring some footage to you guys otherwise just some big bass out there um like i said it's gonna be pre-spawn so these fish are gonna be all beefed up and just hopefully gonna get some awesome content for you guys um, the other thing is like a video like this video below if you like swim bait fishing And if we get enough likes on it, I might do a swim bait giveaway, which will be cool So thank you guys for watching um, Like I said make sure to hit the thumbs up button below comment if you have any questions or anything and make sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next episode